हेलो गाइस डॉक्टर आदित्य प्रसाद पाठी हियर फ्रॉम दी सर्जरी टाइम्स फॉलो अस इन इंस्टाग्राम टेलीग्राम फेसबुक एज वेल एज इन यूट्यूब एंड आवर स्पॉटिफाई पॉडकास्ट आल्सो सो टुडे आवर ब्रांड न्यू टॉपिक इज रिगार्डिंग पेनाइल फ्रैक्चर फ्रॉम द नेम ओनली यू माइट सॉक वट इज ए पेनाइल फ्रैक्चर बिकॉज देर इज नो सच बोन इन द पेन इज हाउ इट विल फ्रैक्चर एंड इट इज ए वेरी रेयर टॉपिक एंड इट इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट यू शुड नो एंड ऑल्सो हाउ टू मैनेज इट so to start the topic we will discuss in details regarding the definition what is a penile fracture followed by how it happens followed by what are the symptoms if you will suffer from this followed by how will you diagnose and imaging and management okay these are the headings we will discuss one by one to start with the topic first is etiology how it happens so before that you should know the slight bit anatomy of the structures from outside to inside of the penis so you can see here first is skin followed by datus followed by areolar tissue then deep box fascia and followed by tunica albuginea these five structures you should know from the outer to inner so you can see the fourth and fifth layer are box fascia and tunica albuginea so these two structures are mainly important in case of penile fracture got it so the definition is penile fracture is nothing but disruption of the tunica albuginea with the rupture of corpora cavernosa okay these two big structures corpora cavernosa surrounding which the tunica albuginea is there okay now typically it occurs during vigorous sexual intercourse when the rigid penis slips out from the vagina and it may strike to the perineum or pubic bone and producing a bulking injury because during vigorous sexual intercourse the penis may come out and while inserting again it may strike to the perineum or the pubic bone then it get fracture tunica albuginea is a bilaminar structure this is few more anatomy inner circular and outer longitudinal it composed of collagen and elastin the outer layer determines the strength and thickness of the tunica and it is thinnest in the ventrolateral see this is the suppose these are the lateral and ventral means these part are very very thin structure so high chances of fracture of the tunica albuginea or penile fracture happens in the ventrolateral region this is also important when the penis is erect and bends abnormally due to increase in intracavernosal pressure exceed the tensile strength of tunica albuginea okay whenever you try to bend after st- certain uh, strength the tunica albuginea will rupture and most commonly transverse laceration of the proximal shaft can happen now penile fracture when you will report so most common is doggy style sexual intercourse position these data is are taken from the campbell only you should remember and in our uh, textbooks like belly love savistan or squad it is very very less content is given so more precisely it is given here okay now others which can cause penile fracture are masturbation rolling over or falling into the erect penis stressful situations like extramarital sex in the middle especially What important term here takadan what is this self inflicted fracture where the erect penis is forcibly bent during the masturbation this is one point and also as a means of to achieve the rapid deutomisens after coitus okay suddenly to deutomisens it after the coitus they are bending it, the penis so in those cases also high chances of penile fracture is there the injury usually unilateral means uh, this is the penis means okay this is the glands so unilateral either one side it can happen and uh, tears of both corporal bodies in case of 10% of injury and usually you should remember it is also important point bilateral corporal injuries most commonly associated with the urethral injury also okay this is this point next site of rupture can occur anywhere along the penile shaft most of it distal to the suspensory ligament here that's why the picture has been put so suspensory ligament is nothing but the ligament 
which connects the inner aspect of the penis to the pubic symphysis in order to hanging the penis outside okay so this is nothing but the suspensory ligament i am marking in the red so after the suspensory ligament up to anywhere in between the shaft of the penis the fracture of the penis can happen injuries associated with coitus are usually ventral or lateral as tunica albuginea is the thinnest in the ventro lateral aspect already we have discussed in our previous slide diagnosis and imaging so by history and physical examination only you can diagnose whether penile fracture is there or not okay how will you diagnose means how will you take the history the patient himself will tell you there, there was a cracking or popping sound and that is because of the tunical tear only followed by pain and rapid detumescence and discoloration and swelling of the penile shaft as you can see in the image also okay the penis is already bent and rapid detumescence and discoloration you can see the skin over the penile shaft so this deformity is known as egg plant deformity as you can see the image also given side by side and it, it this question particularly came many times in the INI CET as well as in our NEET also so it is very very important you should remember the points now the next point of the fracture of penis if the box fascia remains intact or disrupt so prior to that you have to mark it out the box fascia the blue color you can see in the image the blue color you just track it orally it is a covering of the penis so if it remains intact then penile hematoma remains contained between the skin and tunica so if it remains intact that blue color is remain intact uh, here only that i am crossing it the, this part only the blood will collect whereas if it will disrupt anywhere especially in the towards the perineum or scrotum hematoma can extend to the scrotum perineum and suprapubic region also it may come here or towards the perineum or if upside it will be ruptured then towards the suprapubic region that's why this, this picture is put here in order to mark it towards the suprapubic perineum towards the scrotum this blue line in the is the box fascia okay. very very important now hematoma and mass effect will cause so swollen and ecchymotic phallus that deviates to the opposite side of the tunical tear after the fracture of the penis the tunica albuginea may be palpable also okay by that you can locate the fracture site so you can see mainly mainly due to fear and embarrassment patients uh, not coming to the hospital immediately and they will come delay hence the diagnosis also becoming delay hence the outcome also will be accordingly okay so this is the fact now incidence of urethral injury is significantly higher in us and europe okay as compared to other regions now urethral injury how will you diagnose there will be gross hematuria blood at the meters will be present and our patient may complain of inability to void you can see in the image also. okay blood at the meters now although the absence of all these features we have discussed gross hematuria blood at meters or inability to void if the signs are not there still urethral injury can be present okay now in this suspicious cases of penile fracture with concomitant urethral injury urethral evaluation is compulsory so these uh, uh, along with uh, these uh, features if urethral injury is also you are suspecting then you should go for urethral evaluation like argu okay mainly typical history and clinical presentation of the penile fracture makes and no need of any imaging but whenever there is equivocal of the history or physical examination or you are in doubt whether penile fracture is there or not after the history and physical examination also then you can go for imaging that is ultrasonography or mri okay now ultrasonography advantage already you know it is rap rapidly done readily available non invasive and inexpensive now penile ultrasonography rules out fracture as well as identify the location of the tear 
so that accordingly you can plan for surgery and give the incision over there so they will mark also by doing ultrasonography where wherever there is fracture will be there they will mark in so that direct incision you can give over there so this is the advantage of the ultrasonography and mri is a non invasive and accurate alternative and disadvantages are there for mri because it is expense first of all and also limited availability and time requirement is there so american urological association aua guidelines recommend mri in the setting of equivocal usg finding for penile fracture so first of all i will summarize you first history and physical examination if any doubt go for ultrasonography if ultrasonography also have some doubt or equivocal then you can go for further investigations like mri okay previously cavernosography also done but nowadays it is not recommended because of the ultrasonography and cavernosography is time consuming and unfamiliar for the more, most of the radiologists as, as well as urologists so it is not done just theoretical point you should know it now there is a term false fracture false fracture means here the patient with penile swelling and ecchymosis will be present and some even also describe a snap pop or rapid dissemissions typically associated with fracture there there is only penile swelling and ecchymosis will be there and some may des- describe as there is a sound or something like that but actually there there may not be any fracture physical examination may be inadequate for definitive diagnosis in this cases now surgical em- evaluation or evaluation with mri directly should be considered in those cases whenever there is doubt now another condition that may mimic penile fracture is rupture of the dorsal penile artery or vein during sexual intercourse this is also important so what happens uh, so our dorsal penile artery and veins are very tortuous so those veins can rupture while vigorous sexual activity and that can mimic as a penile fracture but actually the penile fracture definition already we have studied only the tunica albuginea or cc corpora cavernosa tear they are considered as penile fracture now management part so management is only surgery that is the one and only option okay promptly explore and surgically repair as soon as possible like that now there are three types of incisions can be given in the p- image you can see i am putting a red line that is the ventral vertical penoscrotal incision here for direct exposure of the fracture this incision is important small lateral incision also can be given for localized hematoma or palpable tunical defect as i said before also the tunical tear can be palpable okay on, uh, from the outside if that is palpable or there is a presence of uh, hematoma you can put a small lateral incision over there only now distal circumcising incision so here full round circumcising incision can be given when the location of the fracture is uncertain you are unable to find out the location of the fracture and because it provides exposure to the all penile compartment this is the distal circumcising incision we have discussed in the previous slide and uh, full degloving of the skin of the penis and here the arrow it indicates there is fracture now how will you closure so tunical defect will be closed with the 20 or 30 observable suture and it should be repaired interrupted okay interrupted suture should be given now after the tunical defect deep corporeal vascular ligation and excessive debridement should be avoided okay just you repair the tunica and followed by the skin if corpora cavernosa also a defect then just superficial you just tie it followed by you have to close the tunica then the skin or important point is while doing the penile fracture surgery you should use an artificial erection with saline or colored dye in order to locate the corporeal laceration so just see the first image so here i have indicated a, an arrow that indicates a scalp vein vein flown okay or butterfly vein flown also it is called so from here the saline is injected so that it will go through the needle into the corpora and there will be artificial erection 
so whenever there is artificial erection will be there straight penis so that the, the fracture will be stretched out so that you can easily see so throughout the surgery you should do it intermittently okay partial urethral injury or complete urethral injury you have to see if partial urethral injury only then that should be overshown with fine observable suture over urethral catheter you can see in the image also urethral catheter should be there okay if there is complete urethral injury that should be debrided mobilized and repaired in a tension free manner over the catheter after urethral repair put the catheter for 2 to 3 weeks with broad spectrum antibiotics and one month of sexual abstinence okay this is also important part for the follow up now outcome and complications so if you are going for surgical reconstruction as soon as possible there is no time limit okay so faster recovery will be there with less morbidity with less complication rate and decrease incidence of long term penile curvature after surgery also penile curvature chances are there but it is less less than 5% of patients one uh, report you will you can see by jargosi in 2009 he have a case series of 352 patients and he have done the surgical management of the all the penile fractures and they have normal erectile function okay there is no ed after the surgical repair and surgical delay up to 7 days after the time of injury does not adversely affect the results of repair it means if you are delaying for 7 days for surgery there is no much adverse effect will be there but ideally you should go for as soon as possible go and surgically repair and this is the one and only option because conservative management have many disadvantages i will discuss here one is penile curvature will be there more than 10% whereas if surgery you will do immediately it will be less than 5% debilitating plex 25 to 30% okay and uh, significantly longer hospitalized time and recovery also will be late so these are the important points we have discussed in detail regarding the penile fracture it can come as a short note or in the neat examination also few few important points i have discussed as well as in inict so stay tuned like comment and share with your friends follow us in instagram telegram facebook as well as in youtube the surgery times see you with our new video till then thank you bye